Man must not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Matthew 4, 4. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Psalm 119, 105. Your word is sweeter than honey dripping from a honeycomb. Psalm 19, 10. We reckon that meeting God in his word is one of the joys and privileges of being his people. To see kids, couples, individuals, families and groups of people regularly enjoying God through his word and prayer is something we'd love to see happening all over Trinity Church Golden Grove. These are in fact two of the inputs into the Christian life that the Holy Spirit delights to use to move us closer to Jesus, further from sin, into greater joy and maturity, and injecting us with confidence to influence people towards the gospel of Jesus Christ. And so as we begin the new year, here's how some of us are doing this. And think of this as an encouragement to all of us to make it our resolve in 2023 to form good habits to the glory of God for a lifetime of following Jesus. Hey everyone, Luke and Natasha, we're going to share how we read the Bible and pray and what we try and do with our family. Uh, I read and have done for about 10 years now the McShaney Bible Reading Plan. And I do that every morning um, after my run. I pray when I run and then I read the Bible after that. And that's five chapters a day, Old New Testament. You read through the New Testament twice in a year. Together, we um, also do this in the morning. We read a verse together and a thought from someone from church history. So we do that when we're getting ready in our room. Um, Natasha. Uh, so the last two years, I have been following the Gospel Coalition, um, reading through the Bible plan. What's great about that is it sends you an email every day with the readings. Um, so it's a great kind of reminder as well. Um, before that, um, and especially while our kids were really young, I used to follow the Love God Greatly. Um, so anybody who's got little kids who find when you're finding it really hard to um, find that time and brain space, um, it's, a, it's a really great program um, to follow. So called Love God Greatly. Uh, with our kids, uh, we read the Bible together at breakfast time. Um, for the last year, we've been just reading um, through whatever we're reading at church um, in the morning, except at kind of um, some particular times. So over Christmas, we um, did a, an Advent um, reading. Um, but in the new year, we're going to start uh, this. It's called Exploring the Bible Together. Um, and each day it gives um, uh, reading um, and it goes kind of through the whole Bible from Genesis um, to Revelation and then gives um, some questions to think about. So basically just two questions, um, a key idea and a topic for prayer. Mm. Um, and in the evenings we do um, family prayer together um, the kids all have a prayer book so different ones for um, different ages um, but it's teaching the kids um, to pray the scripture um, and so uh, we do that all together they choose one from their book um, to read and pray uh, together and then we pray as a family after that to finish up the day as well yeah. yeah and then i use an app called inner room um which is a great place to kind of store um prayer points um and to just help you remember all the things that you're praying for but i'm sure there's lots of other apps that one just really um helps me so, so that's what we do as a family and individually to be in god's word and pray 